Dapper makes it easy to move your microservices from your development machine to the cloud. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. The application we're going to use contains three microservices and three Dapper components. The first microservice uses an input binding for Twitter. We provide the component with a query for the desired tweets. And when a tweet is sent that matches the query, our microservice is called with the information. The service also uses a state store component to store the tweets. Finally, this microservice leverages Dapper's service-to-service -service invocation building block to call our second microservice. The second microservice sends the text of the tweet to the Azure Cognitive Services Sentiment API to rate the tweet. The results are returned to the first microservice where processing continues. The first microservice then posts the processed tweet to a Dapper PubSub component. Using PubSub, our third microservice reads the information and displays the results to the user. When developing locally, I can use the default components installed when I ran Dapper init. This will provide state and PubSub via Redis. Using the building blocks of Dapper only requires making an HTTP or gRPC call. I don't have to rely on any SDKs. However, SDKs are available for many languages if you prefer. Here's an example of the service-to-service -service invocation building block in action. This code, using a simple HTTP request, can call a method on another microservice. The service on the other end of this call simply defines a method that accepts a POST request to the same route. Storing state or placing a message on a topic all comes down to making an HTTP request to the correct endpoint. When I'm ready to move to Kubernetes, in the cloud or on the edge, I simply update my components to point to the same or new backing services. I can select any of the supported components. I don't have to change a single line of my code. And because I'm using Dapper, I get tracing so I can measure the message calls across components and networked services. Here's an example trace of a tweet entering the app from the Twitter input binding and making its way to the viewer. Dapper allows you to leverage your local dev machine to develop microservices for the cloud. Learn more at dapper.io.